we continue with our conversation about qualities of leaders that will deliver. And these things are very important, especially now as we think about the season we are going into, uh, where we'll be given opportunities with the power of our ballots to vote for people, to take responsibilities. What kind of leader are you looking for? Because the evidence of their effectiveness is, in, is not in what they promise to do, but what they have been able to do in their life's journey. And uh, I know we have already discussed about the, the power of vision. We've spoken about inspiration. We've spoken about strategic and critical thinking. We've spoken about um, and the next one we are doing right now is interpersonal communication. A, a, a visionary leader, a leader of repute, will have good interpersonal skills, interpersonal ability to communicate uh, effectively. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.29, let no corrupt talk or communication come out of your mouth, but such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to the hearers. One of the things that is so disturbing uh, in the history of our politics as a country is to hear the kind of words that proceed out of people who carry the title honorable, especially when they are uh, insulting each other. And I want to make a statement that you don't endear yourself to the electrics because of or the, or the people who, who, who cast votes because of how abusive you are, how good you are at insulting your opponent. In fact, it only takes away. Uh, there are people who will just decide this was my candidate, but they can't get my vote because of the language they talk, vulgar language, insultive language. It is embarrassing some of the things that we have seen happen within the political scene. And even for us who are in church leadership, we have a great responsibility to ensure that we are careful in how we communicate. There's another scripture it's in Colossians 3.8 that says, but now you must put all these things away. What are the things to put away? Anger, wrath, marriage, slander, and obscene talk from our mouth. What a responsibility. Read the book of James says the tongue is a small uh, organ, but it can cause fire. And we must take responsibility of the words that come out of our mouth. Good leaders must be able to interact with other people in a way that feels genuine. And this does not mean you have to be an extrovert or a people person to be a leader. There are many excellent leaders who self-identify as introverts. Rather, it means what we are talking about is being able to demonstrate empathy, engaging in active listening, and building meaningful working relationships with those around you, whether they are a peer or, the, or direct reporting. It is so important to develop proper people skills because we are talking about working relationships. Uh, there are people that no matter where they go, they are going to engage in silly arguments. They're going to in, engage in things that only create contention and sometimes for very, for very little reason. So may God help each one of us that aspire for leadership or the, uh, occupy leadership positions to understand the praise of interpersonal communication, ability to communicate graciously. That is what we are talking about in interpersonal relationships. Lord, again, we thank you for the things we share today. We honor you and bless you for your faithfulness and for your great love in Jesus' name. Amen.